Now, let's perform an experiment to find an interesting result related to chord. Draw a circle with O as its center. Then, we draw a chord AB and draw a perpendicular from O to chord AB. The point of intersection of the perpendicular OM and the chord AB is M. Does OM bisect the chord AB? Let's check. Fold the circle vertically along OM. You can see that point B coincides with point A. This proves that M is the midpoint of AB. And we can say that the perpendicular OM bisects chord AB. We can do this experiment with any other chord of the circle. And we find that the perpendicular from the center of the circle bisects the given chord. We have seen in the experiment that the perpendicular from the center of the circle bisects the chord. Let's see whether we can state this result as a theorem. We will prove the theorem using the concept of congruent triangles. We are given that OM is perpendicular to AB and we need to prove that OM bisects AB. Let's join OA and OB to make two triangles. Note that both triangles are right angle triangles. The two arms of the triangles, that is OA and OB, are equal because both OA and OB are equal to the radius of the given circle. Also, side OM is common to both triangles. Therefore, by RHS congruence, triangles OMA and OMB are congruent to each other. And hence, the third sides of the two triangles, that is, sides AM and BM, are equal. This proves that OM, the perpendicular bisector, bisects AB, the chord of the circle. Let's now see the converse of the theorem. The converse of the theorem can be stated as the line drawn through the center of a circle to bisect a chord is perpendicular to the chord. We are given that OM bisects chord AB, which means that M is the midpoint of chord AB or AM equals to BM. To prove that OM is perpendicular to AB, we need to prove that angle OMA and angle OMB are equal to 90 degrees. Let's join OA and OB. Being the radius of the circle, OA is equal to OB. OM is common to both the triangles. And AM is equal to BM. Therefore, triangle OMA and triangle OMB are congruent to each other by SSS congruence. Thus, angles OMA and OMB are equal to each other by the property of corresponding parts of congruent triangles. But what is the sum of the two angles? Well, the sum of angle OMA and angle OMB is equal to 180 degrees because the two angles make a linear pair of angles. Therefore, both the angles are equal to 90 degrees. That is, OM is perpendicular to AB. And thus, the converse of the theorem is proved. Now see an application of the converse of the theorem. Prove that the perpendicular bisectors of two chords of a circle intersect at its center. We are given that AB and CD are two chords of a circle with center O. If possible, let's consider O dash to be the point of intersection of perpendicular bisectors O dash E and O dash F. To prove that the perpendicular bisectors of two chords of a circle intersect at its center, we need to prove that O dash coincides with O. Let's join OE and OF. OE and OF are the perpendicular bisectors of chords AB and CD respectively. 
So E is the midpoint of AB. We have seen the converse of the theorem, which states that the line drawn through the center of a circle to bisect a chord is perpendicular to the chord. Therefore, OE is perpendicular to AB. That means OE as well as O-E are the perpendicular bisectors of AB. But since there can be one and only one perpendicular bisector to a chord, O-E coincides with OE. Similarly, OF bisects the chord CD and F is the midpoint of CD. Therefore, by converse of the theorem, OF is perpendicular to CD. That means OF and O-F are the perpendicular bisectors of CD. But since there can be one and only one perpendicular bisector to a chord, O-F coincides with OF. This implies that the point of intersection of O-E and O-F coincides with the point of intersection of OE and OF. Therefore, O dash coincides with O, and hence we prove that the perpendicular bisectors of AB and CD intersect at the center O.